My name is Liz. I'm a nurse advisor for NHS Direct Wales 111. I am a paediatric nurse by profession and I spent 10 years working in CAMS. There's still a stigma around it and I think people need to know that normal people as such have problems as well and it's okay to have those problems. When I was 10 years old, my um, baby brother died in my arms. And that was a really difficult time, of course, for the whole family. So um, at a very young age, I, my, I had to step up and become the parent of the family because I had, I had another sibling as well. So I didn't have a chance to grieve, to process what had happened. I just had to sort of push it to the side and just get on with looking after other people caused a lot of problems my parents, it started coming out in my behaviour. Um, I suffered from a lot of anxiety, depression, which I didn't know that's what it was at the time. I made a, a genuine suicide attempt because I just didn't know how else to, to get out of this. I really thought, even though when I look back now, my parents already lost a child, losing another one would have been awful. But to me at that time, they would be, I was causing them so many problems they would have been better off without me. And my, my, I, I was living in a bit of a fog. Um, my brain was just like a black fog all the time. I, nothing made me happy. I was ang just so, so angry at the world. I didn't know where this had come from. I didn't, obviously, when I look back, it was very obvious where it's come from. But at the time, I didn't know. I still get anxiety. I still suffer a lot from anxiety. I'm very good at hiding it, but I still suffer a lot from anxiety. But. I'm also sensible enough now to tell people when it's too much. I struggle with the guilt of how I affected other people around me at the time. And, and I still struggle with that now, and I, I, I'm still working really hard 20 years later to try and make up, make up for that. My family, friends are absolutely wonderful. Um, work is another thing as well. Routine helps me. So to have a, a really good routine, that helps me keep on an even keel. And But the most, the biggest thing that keeps me sort of stable is knowing it's okay to tell people when I'm really not doing well at all. If you think of it a little bit like a jigsaw puzzle, when you start talking about things, you start getting all the little bits together and finally it slots together to make this big picture and suddenly you'll have that light bulb moment you go there we go that's that's where this has come from and as soon as you get that light bulb moment that's when you can finally start that journey to recovery and and start making amends within yourself and start getting back on track and forgiving yourself as well actually <laughs> Everybody in life is fighting a battle. It's just how some people deal with it better than others. Some people have more support than others to be able to get through it. Um, and I just think it's so important just to let people know what is going on. Last, keep talking.